Good morning, savages. Quick video. I put up one uh, a video yesterday about that guy getting um, tased. Now I've seen a lot of comments on that. People actually have their own perspective and don't actually look at video evidence. Someone actually said, "Oh, why are they kicking the guy?" Um, if you look closely in the video, they're kicking the the knife. The guy was it actually a knife? I saw it. I talked to the the cops after that and. Um, he had a half, one half of scissors. He's using it as a knife. He was sticking it up to his neck, saying he was going to kill himself. They had already tased him one time before that, and you know he obviously fended it off. But if you see from the second tase, he they got him in the right spot. That guy just went down like a pile of bricks. That guy's a a, a homeless guy that's in the area over um, Midtown, and he's a decent guy. I've seen him around. He um he helps out one of these vendors, food vendors, uh, every day. And he uh, helps him load his cart onto his, you know, onto the guy's truck when the guy's leaving. The guy gives him a sandwich every day. He's, you know, a pretty decent guy. But the guy's obviously mentally disturbed. And for some reason, he was waving that around before. I mean, I don't have the video, of course, from before. The guy was waving the knife around before at the cops. And then when they tased him, he, and, and confronted by, it was a lot of cops over there because, you know, a guy's waving a weapon around, a knife or any other weapon around, there's going to be a pretty good response. Um, and then he put the, the the blade to his neck and, you know, was threatening to kill himself. And that time they made a decision to tase him. And I asked, like I said, I asked, I should have interviewed him on video, but I was just quick asking the guy. We were out there surprised as to what was happening. And uh, they said they just wanted to get him off the street and into the hospital because he's, you know, he was a bit menacing. He sometimes, like I said, I've seen him around. He's a pretty decent guy, but every once in a while, you catch him by the subway. Maybe if he's off his meds, I don't know what the situation is. He's screaming obscenities on a regular basis, harassing people. Um, but that's like, a, those, those are like, at certain times when he's, sometimes he's actually pretty normal. Again, this is a, a, a mental, mental instability. Mental health is it, is it a, you know, crisis is an all-time high in New York City because... You know, the cops, the, the mayor of this shit city, um, there was a lot, they were allotted a billion dollars for mental health. And, and when he came in to power, you know, he turned that money over to his wife, gave her responsibility for the billion, I, I don't know if I said a million, but it's a billion dollars. And they can't actually tell you where 850 million of those billion dollars has gone. You know, I find that odd. No one even talks about it. I mean, here, here and there, I've seen op-ed pieces and actual investigation, and it really goes nowhere. I don't know why that gets shut down. But me mental health in New York City right now is is not being addressed, and there are a lot of homeless people on the streets, people that should not be on the streets because of their uh, mental instability. <clears throat> not to say, you know. You know, homeless. We should not have a homeless problem. Yet you got dickheads going up in in uh, dick-shaped rockets. You know, who could probably wipe out uh, the homeless crisis in this world, for that matter. Let alone New York, with the money they spend on fucking rockets. Unbelievable. And I'm not saying that they're they're responsible for that. I'm just saying that as a general general statement. So. You know, just again, addressing what people had said about the video. Uh, we, we took that video yesterday, surprisingly, you know, going like, what the hell's going on here? You know, and these things, you see the guy waving the, the knife around, the one half of the scissors. Again, the the, uh, the lieutenant was kicking the scissors away. You can actually see it in the video and actually saw it in person. He wasn't kicking the guy. Nobody was abusing that guy. These cops were, they treated him with kick gloves as far as I've seen. I've seen cops roughing people. I've been roughed up by cops. That was... Nothing. They got make sure the ambulance came, got him an ambulance, got him to probably Bellevue to mental mental evaluation. Um, those cops handled themselves pretty well. I don't know why people are you know getting on the cops about that. It is what it is. If people see what they want, I guess. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of cops there, but you know, in the end, there was only four cops left over, the two responsible for the tasing and two to monitor the situation and get this guy into an ambulance. Uh, 
you know the cops in New York got a, are under tension. I can you can see it. They won't. They don't. They won't give you a, a ticket for anything. They won't cite you for. They won't even look at you the wrong way. I have friends and family in NYPD, and, and unless you're waving a weapon around, they're not going to mess with you. So there's a little bit of standoffishness with the cops, and it's uh, they got their hands tied. So crime is up, obviously, because people are taking advantage of the loose uh, patrolling, loose um, enforcement of, uh, of laws. <clears throat> what are laws anyway besides fucking politicians blasting their edicts on you? Anyway, <clears throat> there should be some law and order. People should be responsible for themselves. There are also some people need to be, some people need to get their asses beat. Anyway, crypto market is fucked up. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm playing, it's playing games. I see a lot of accumulation and uh, I've noticed wallet movement on some OTC markets, not mar markets, but uh, OTC movement. If you watch wallets, I watch wallets more than I watch the market lately to see where the accumulation is going. There's a lot of accumulation of Bitcoin and Ethereum and other crypto. And um, you need to stop watching these fake fucking assholes on YouTube certain certain people they only come out when uh when everything's hot they when everything's down these people disappear and you know, i mean if you can't notice that then you don't even deserve to be fucking looking at half this shit these people are just hiding on you when they tell they'll tell you when everything's boiling over like any any movement on anything could fucking happen anyone could tell you the fucking future when the market's hot but when the market's doing what it's doing now i watched it the market tank a tank a tank a tank and you don't hear from these fucking supposed experts who say, oh, I, I invested 10000 in this and these five cryptos and they're... Blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up, man. You're a bunch of savages. You, you don't know shit. So you need to do a lot. I mean, it's, it's hard to say. I've done all, all of my own research and, I, and I've actually watched some of these people to, to identify certain things. Not for advice. Anyway... That's all I got to say. Nothing else fucking special. Have a good day.